Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts! And before anybody says anything in the comments, at least I think nobody has said anything in the comments. By the way, uh, welcome to a safe and wonderful postcard. I, uh, I decided to work at the official soundtrack CD that I have for Kingdom Hearts. Yes, Kingdom Hearts does have its own CD soundtrack. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't have a whole lot of... Well, it does have a whole lot of songs, but a lot of point fairy pointless songs that are, no are normally used in, like, various small, like, five-second cutscenes. There are rarely any form of tracks that were used in order to... Like what you're listening to right now, there are hardly any tracks that actually go on for a much more longer period of time, especially with Whoopi and Fault. But, before anybody in the comments say anything, and so far there hasn't, at least as far as I see, uh, remember back in, I think, part one? It was either part one or part two, where, um, I said that the main that the uh, theme that you were hearing for uh, for Disney Castle along with um with Dawn Duck's uh, walk towards the uh, drone song in particular, I said that was called the Disney March. I was actually incorrect on that name. That was actually called um, the Mickey Mouse Club March. I was close. I just didn't have the right thing attached to it. <laughs> attached to the word March. So yeah, we finally cleared that up. Now, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. I think I've talked about the soldiers. Have I? Well, if not, if I haven't talked about the soldiers yet, I'll explain it again. Just in case, the soldiers... A little bit harder to kill past Sarah, that's a wall. Thank you. The, so the soldiers are a little bit have a little bit more health than the shadows, however, they do have a few more unique attacks of their own. Uh they do uh they do like a little like spin attack like right there. And they also try and scratch at you like that. They do like a little lunge attack. I swear, it has to do something. There's something up with this bell that I cannot seem to remember. Maybe we'll see once we come back to this place for more plot. Yes, we do have to revisit this place in order to, uh... In order to complete this wall the second time. Bound. <laughs> we have to seal the keyhole twice? Fuck. <laughs> so what what exactly are we trying to do here? I think we are trying to gain support while at the same time we're trying to gain as much experience as possible here. I just want that scan ability, man. Uh, it's been a quite a while quite a while since I've since I've commentated over Kingdom Hearts. Man, for some reason, I think it has to do something with this quad. By the way, there's an item, there's an item. Oh, no, well, it was probably just a potion anyway. It's just a flimsy little potion. Oh, hello there, Shadow. Hey, how's it going? Not that, Shadow. <laughs> Anybody else? <sighs> I kind of wish that there were like destroyable objects. Like, no, there are destroyable chairs in the uh, plaza. Yeah, there's like a small entrance where there's like a small entrance uh, to a uh, cafe to the uh, far right of where you would be at for the... Uh, thank you, Arnie. 
Yeah, that's like a small campaign. You can destroy the chairs if you want. Ah, yes, a treasure chest full of potion. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You, you do know that that is just money to me right now, right? I don't know. That would be grand. That would be grand, you know. You, you combine two potions, you make a super potion. And I know. Are potions even required for synthesis? Uh, I'm actually working on my strategy guide for this, right? Which you're curious right now. Do you have to, do you have to use any form of- Oh, here we go! Do you have to use any form of items? Like, uh, like potions? It appears not. It appears that everything we find is on the level. Random objects that you get from the enemies, uh, not, you know, healing items. Or replenish, uh, supporting type of items. Items that are usually like, like, metal shards and such. Those are the ones that, uh, that uh, you have to work out for in uh, I am synthesis. Whenever we get to it, we we need a certain ability for that, though. Yes, believe it or not, despite what Kingdom Hearts, uh, this if there is one thing that Kingdom Hearts 2 has ever done, if there is one thing that Kingdom Hearts 2 has ever ever done correctly. It's making item synthesis about as early as possible. Without the need of like some sort of ability in order to get it. We won't be item synthesizing for quite some time. I wanna say like about past the first half of the entire fucking game. Ooh, what did I buy? The firing. Reduces about, I think, 25% fire damage. Okay. Moving right along. Um, I think I am just about ready to hit the dirt district. I think that's what I'm going to be doing. We saw, we saw the cutscenes, uh, necessary. You know what? You know what would be great for this playthrough? Hang on. I hope that my cord is long enough. Yeah, it should be long enough. I kind of have to reach for it. Get over here. Get over here. You little. Case what you were wondering what I was doing, I had to walk across my room in order to grab from my bookshelf the manga version of Kingdom Hearts. Yes, believe it or not, people, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and Chain of Memories all have manga versions. Uh, half of Chain of Memories is half of Chain of Memories is in English, although you don't really have to know much about that. But like, but there's like a small portion of Kingdom Hearts too that's in manga form. Uh, wait, are we at that point? Yes, we are! Okay, well, never mind. We are about to encounter our first boss fight. Well, along with a small gauntlet. Okay, so I'm going to need my... Do I really need to work up the boss fight strategy for this? 
That's why we're not my strategy to this. You know what? Never mind. I was in. I wanted to land, anyways. Okay, so now what's going to happen is that. We're going to have to find a gauntlet of enemies, namely soldiers and shadows. It's really nothing too difficult than what you have done already. Not to mention that it is going to be a little bit easier because now you have party members, Donald Duck and Goofy. Once all the enemies are taken care of, the real boss fight begins. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the God Armor. Okay, so the gimmick with the God Armor is that you have to defeat his limbs. His torso has infinite health, however, his limbs don't. So always aim for the hands and feet. Yeah, going on. Let's just check in for him. There's two different versions with this. Yes. So be sure to always walk on to the feet. Use potions and high potions whenever necessary. In order to heal yourself up. Do not do not give it to do not worry about Donald and Goofy actually. They'll eventually come back up. Or they'll just heal themselves right up like that. The guard armor does have quite a few attacks of its own. It will swing around its hands, just like how you would say you'll also fly swim you, like how you just saw. It'll also try to kick you. And... And when it's torso, when it only has its torso, it'll shoot out a can, a bean can at you from the lower portion of its body. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Oh, that spinning attack that he does with his hands. If you manage to block that, not only you'll gain some tech points, but you also cause the god armor to fully collapse and fall apart. So, that will give you, like, a lot of free time to just wail on his limbs. And really, that's all there is to God Armor, considering that he is the first actual boss that you are fighting, excluding Dark Side. Well, the first boss that you are fighting with party members. Looks like, uh, God Armor has finally been defeated. I think Goofy gained an accessory slot? What does he gain? Now you see, this is why I have the strategy guide handy, because I just messed the, uh, the full up screen. But it also doesn't really help that the Mia player is going against me. And we have received the Brave Warrior Accessory. What does that do? I cannot remember. Uh... Let's see here... So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us to help us find the kid. Sora, go huh. with them. The strategy guy doesn't Especially really you say what kind of uh, level up we yeah, want Stone and I Goofy guess. will get. It usually says something like, Goofy gets an accessory slot, or something like that. It's usually something that is scripted. That would happen. Because... Because bosses, of course, get off a lot of... Uh, a lot of experience. 
So most of the time, whenever you are finding a boss, expect at the end to gain a level up. Especially when that one in particular ability that you will get at random, such as a free, such as an increased slot and in accessories, an increased item slot, or one of those sections. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. So we have seen, uh, we have just witnessed the uniting of the, of the wonderful, wonderful trio of Sora, Donald, and Goofy. That little squirt took down that heart. And be prepared to see that scene a lot. Because <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2 makes you not forget what all those scenes are all about. So let's see. Ooh, that is. I'm looking at the manga. I just ran across a. Enough. Real cool image of the, uh, the of the soldier on West doing a well, nice pose. There is be pose, he actually. who conquers That's the darkness. Quite awesome looking, <laughs> I gotta say. Or will the darkness swallow him? Either hey way, man, he manga is not always evil. just anime eyes everywhere. Okay. Okay, so by defeating God Armor, we get a flurry of. New and wonderful items, including the Brave Warrior, which is our initial prize. We also get from Eric a hundred money. That's actually pocket change way on in the game. <laughs> we also get an Alexa, which which restores a small amount of HP and MP. Because we also teamed up with Donald, who was a mage, by the way, we are also going to be able to access a thing called the Gummy Ship. The Gummy Ship is your only way of traveling in between worlds. We also learned the power of fire. We can now use the fire spell. As I said before, I am quite a magic user. We also get a ability for ourselves called the Dodge Roll. Now what Dodge Roll does is that upon equipping it through the menu, you need to have AP for this, which is, stands for Ability Points. This ability is quite handy for moving things along, as well as dodging attacks. Well, of course, it's gotta be called a dodge roll for something. We can also use Jimmy's Journal in order to track our progress. If we go over towards one of these blue markings, now that we actually have party members, two of them in fact, we can now use these marks that we have been seeing all over the damn place called Trinity Marks. There are multiple different colors of Trinity Marks, upon which, if you select the other option that says Trinity, this is called Trinity Jump, which is the blue Trinity Mark, it does a special action which will give you Quite a number of items, either a ton of money, or some sort of like rare item, or it even leads you to a chest, such as this upcoming Trinity Mark, for example. Now, as I was trying to, well, actually, this leads us to a postcard, <laughs> amongst all things. Now, as I was trying to talk about the, uh, the dodge roll, when equipped, you press the square button and so it will roll. Ascent well, actually, it's kind of like a forward somersault. And, um... Uh, 
and from the same, yeah, as Pat Sailor was demonstrating, you saw just basically somersaults in order to dodge out of the way, hence the term dodge wall. Simple as that. This is the overworld map. And no, there's a thing about that that I'll get into way on. Well, actually, I'll get to it right now. That little icon that you see towards the left of Trevor's Town? We will not be going to that world whatsoever, not until Cam Hearts 2. Now, here's the thing about... Well, Gummy Shift Flying, well, let me ask you this. Have you ever played Star Fox? Well, at least Star Fox 64? If so, well, this is going to be very similar to that. Basically, all you're really doing is that you're just flying and you're shooting. I'll get into the customization of any ship later. Now, the this now the Disney Castle wall that you just saw on the on the world select screen. We're never going to be able to go to that wall. The spire just constantly saying they're teasing us now. According to some early snapshots of the game. Sorry. According to early snapshots of the game, there was in fact plans for a Disney Castle world. Like you'll actually explore the Disney Castle. As a matter of fact, the early screenshot shows Sora um, running around in, um, in King Mickey's throne room. Well, God damn it! I just spoiled it. Well, it's not like everybody doesn't know who the king is at this point. Everybody knows that it's King Mickey. Well, anyways, the, the screenshot shows the king's throne room. And it, and it proves that at some point they were, Square was indeed going to include the was indeed going to include uh, the castle as like one of the walls. But either for space issues or time constraints, they couldn't really fit the world in. So my guess is that they deleted the pathway. And since there are screenshots of the of the castle itself, that would mean that the world is still technically intact, just not much. 